Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing and Canadian here with episode 84 of Pixelmon, and in this episode, Jerome and I are back on that training grind, trying to get our party up to a balanced level, because there's nothing like a good balanced team, am I right? Am I right? So I was training my Sandy, my Scyther, and I had myself a good old time. So apart from that, I'll see dudes all later. Slap that like button with your forehead, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Yeah! Jerome, I need to go to a Pokemon Center and heal up. Are you ready? Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why, but yeah, let's do. It. What, what, what am I ready for? <laughs> and then, the horror. Why do you have to burn it all to the ground? What? Oh, the Pokemon Center? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well why are you? What, what's going on? Why are you? Oh, I just up? need to go back there and put my Pokemon in the the healing machine and go back to training and stuff. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. So I thought there was something ordinary. intense about to happen. Ah, oh, jeez, what's gonna... going on? It's okay. Everything's hey, good. Yeah, you had my little Baka heart worried there. No, no, I would never want to trouble your little Baka heart. <laughs> well, my Flygon's doing good. Whoa! He yes. looks angry. It's a boss ride on. That's going to give me some straight XP. A level 91? Flawless. Oh my god, the XP is just going to be ludicrous on this nice. one. Nice. There we go. Up and at. Oh my god. That did almost no damage. Oh, that's Congrats, actually thoroughly scary. It's supposed to be super effective dig, and it's just doing nothing. Oh my god! Flyon's not going to be able to do this on his own. All right, I'm going to have to swap him out. Jagmaster, get in there. Jesus, this Rhydon's ridiculous! Switch up, switch up. His defense is just too much. There we go. And I got a Great Ball, a Dive Ball, Dig, and Sandstorm, and Nest Ball. Oh, no Moonstones, though. Well, do we still need Moonstones? No, we need a Firestone. That's right. By the Go way, I lost a uh, boss Sand Slash. I don't know where it went. That's good. Yep. Excellent. 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 Like, excellent. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> well, anyways, everybody, welcome back to Pixelmon with Mitch and Jerome. And in this episode, I think I'm going to do a little more training on my Sandy. And in turn, my Scyther as well. So both of those guys are going to keep leveling. And Jerome, what are you up to? Well, my goal this episode is, of course, just to get my flag on up to that level 70 threshold and maybe do a lot of training on one of my other Pokemon. Try to get them all to level 70. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. I'm a little bit behind in that race. Actually, well, my Dragonite is, I'm pretty much giving up on that one to level 70 because I'll rare candy that, that bad boy before I train him. Yeah, I, it's going to take way too long otherwise. Sandy? Hey, Flog on level 70. I gained him two levels already this episode. Nice, congrats. All right. Thank you, buddy. That was pretty solid. So now we can get ready for the next one. Do I want Chief Flap or Betty? Let's go for Chief Flap, because we just did a dragon, which dragons take longer to level. So we'll, instead of doing another dragon, Gyarados, we'll uh, keep it simple on ourselves. Yeah, are you switching your egg around, at least? Actually, wait. Is Gyarados... Dro, have He's... You been forgetting oh, Gyarados your... isn't dragon. Gyarados is water flying. Whoopsies. Have you been forgetting to move your lucky egg around? No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, Gyarados is water flying. I keep forgetting he learns dragon type moves, but he's not a dragon. Isn't that weird? Yeah. And he's a flying type. You know who too. else learns dragon type moves? Gyarados? No, there's Sandy. Oh yeah, I know. You were telling me about that. Oh, uh, like some ridiculous level he gets a he gets outburst or something. Yeah, oh, outrage. Right. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Ah, uh, healing up all my Pokemons and getting her ready. I, I honestly that's... find all my shinies near rivers, so I'm just going to keep scouring rivers for, for shiny fish. I haven't found a shiny, so I think if I just stop doing whatever it is I'm doing, maybe I'll have better luck. <laughs> nah, impossible. Completely impossible and improbable. See, the shinies that you would easily walk past and not think twice is like a shiny caterpie or a weedle or something. Because they're probably barely noticeable, but... You're ignoring Weedles and Caterpies anyways, so it's, like, it's not going to stand up, you're just going to walk past. It's like, oh, well, I just missed something cool. No, I firmly believe I have not seen a single Shiny. I, I, I'm always positive <laughs> I just walk past a Shiny Weedle at some point in this series. I just, I know I have for sure. I, I mean, it's possible. Hey, Mitch, I found you when you were younger, and you had one less L in your name. Really? Yeah, it's, it's Mitchell, but without the second L. That's Can you please never... murder that guy? No, he's only level twelve. I'll leave him alone. What? I've never, I've never seen anyone spell Mitchell that way. Put him without out the of second L. Well, it's it's weird. Your eyes probably should have. Wow, man, you're so insensitive. Why wouldn't you put him out of his misery? 
I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I'm a weird baka, I'll tell you. 46 Haunter, man. See, things like that would have been beautiful to find when we were competing. Oh my god, I just realized how difficult leveling Chief Laugh is going to be. How difficult? Dude, think about it. We go to the desert. Every single Pokemon is ground type. Electric doesn't hit it. Oh, let's go to the extreme hills. Every single Pokemon that will let you on a secret is rock. It doesn't hit them either. There's no high-level Pokemon that I can demolish. Sea Kings are pretty good. Oh, what level are they at? Always mid to late 30s. Always. 100%. Yeah, that's Sand Slash. I wasn't sure if he was ground as well and normal. He is, so... So I can't even hit him. Oh, I have Signal Beam, which is Bug. Is that super effective to rock? I'm trying to remember. Maybe there's hope, then. There might be hope yet. <laughs> signal Beam him. For real, I think there may be some hope. Hey, little drowsy. Let's heal up. I'm Why don't we really... have a healing station, except in the water underneath our house? <laughs> yeah, we never got it out of there, because you can't move them, so that sucked. I think I should do that. should probably take care of that. Or get it, build a new one, and put it in our main floor or something. So you don't drown every time you go to heal. There we go. And, whoa! Someone stuck a command block in our house to dash play sound random dot fuse. Oh my That's god. The TNT fuse. I was wondering because I, I don't know if anyone picked up on it, but there was an episode a couple of days ago where I walked past the tripwire and I did a double take. I walked past it again. I was like, pretty sure I heard TNT fuse, but nothing blew up. So I walked well, past again and I heard it again. I was like, oh, someone's trolling. Yeah, little known fact about me. Also colorblind. I'm just full of, of problems. I'm also like moderately like horrible at hearing, to say the least. So whenever I heard that, I thought it was TNT, and I just played it off as, well, it hasn't been. I guess it's the Ivy that I'm brushing past, and that's just what I've assumed it to be. I just figured, oh my I, God. honestly, I didn't check for command milk either. I just assumed maybe there was an update, and Tripwire makes that sound. Yeah, right? I just never thought, but that that's what it is, Mitch. <laughs> Someone has a command plot? Yeah, it was that's probably awesome. cute. Oh, my God. It's, it's hidden in the water in our house, so we'd never find that. Let's see... Signal beam. I don't know if it's super effective, but it crushed that graveler. Yeah, I'm I think just it's just around these extreme hills, and hopefully something cool happens. Hopefully, but hopefully, probably please. not. Please, something cool. I need. Do to you see. like my optimism? Uh, A level forty-nine wild Pikachu. Catch what? That. Catch that. Replace Flaff. No way. Flaff's way too good, Mitch. It's level fifty-seven already, and he's a chief. And he's a chief. There we go. He's just one shot of that Pikachu. Aw, why would you do that? Pika pee. Pika eat my butt. <laughs> Peek my booty. Yeah, peek my booty. He can't do nothing. Alright, come on. Show me something good already. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind training, but I'm in a barren landscape with a Geo dude only. There we go, a Lunatone. Lovely. Hey, don't talk bad about my Geo dude, buddy. Ah, oh, I think there's some stuff down here. Geo dude's my new friend, Mitch. Bombs away. Here we go. Wow, there's Aeron's fighting Rhydons over here. Ah, oh, I found Daniel. He's got level 35 Pokemon's. Thunderbolt dead. <laughs> level 35 Olpix. Thunderbolt dead. A level 37 coughing, Thunderbolt, dead, absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Ruined his dreams. Oh, you dude, never go to the swamp. You. Duh, go to the swamp for training. Oh my god, wow, how did I not even, I didn't even register in my mind to do. Thank you for that. Easy That's right. peasy. There we go. There we go, slash, kill. It's the only way to TP to spawn for me. <laughs> There's only one way, and it's not pretty. Not at all. It's pretty messy, actually. Now, get me out of this jungle. This is awful. Did not sign up for this. Except when you did. I never signed up. Ooh! What is that? Oh, it's a polywag. Dang it. For a second, I thought I saw something cool. But it was just a polywag. Just your basic old polywag. Just your everyday polywag. I want to kill it, though. It'd be so cool if Pokemon were in real life. Aren't they? They are. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin that for people. What, are you going to tell me the Tooth Fairy's not real next? Hey, don't even go there. Completely real. Exactly, so... I'm looking around. 
I guarantee you, I'm just gonna find another Magikarp sooner or later. Because that's all I ever see is Magikarps. Let's see. Well, I'm looking. I'm doing a decent job looking around. See, you just like to scale your Pokemon. I'm all about finding the high end Pokemon. You gotta, you gotta, you know, build your ranks too. I have no clue what you just said. You but it sounded like a big load of poop. You have to apply some value. That's why I go looking for gold and magic. All right, I was correct in saying it sounds like a big load of poop. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God I double taked on that one and asked twice. <laughs> Oh what, you don't God, like applying value. value to your team? No, I'm good, man. I mean, you were you were starting <laughs> to understand the concept when you got three Rayquazas, but you're starting to falter now. Cause are all three of those in your party? I don't think so. No, I gave you one. Well, oh yeah, so you only have two. Well, I would give you it back if you were willing to step up your game. Do you think I should have two Rayquazas in my like actual active party? Dude, you should have six. If I could, I, mean, I don't know. See, I feel like once I get the sixth, I'll do it. But, like, until then, I just don't no, know. No, no, I agree. Until you have them all, don't bother. But once you have six, you have to use them. Just uh, I know, all right? Like, why not? <laughs> and I guarantee you, you could put a ton of different TMs on them. So you just, like, stack them all oh. differently. Yeah, I remember from the other games, Rayquaza can learn, like, fire, electric, like, every type. Yeah, so you just, like, rename it. It's, like, Rayquaza electric, Rayquaza fire, or whatever, just so you remember. Or I just give them all the same attacks. They're exactly just close yeah, to each other. Rest. Every their only abilities are rest. Oh my god! If only you could delete moves. I should probably can. Can you imagine if I did that? <laughs> just had a rest on everyone and made him the most obnoxious guy to defeat in battle. <laughs> he does nothing but sleep, rest and recover. That's all there is to do in battle. Oh, just man. sleep your pain away, Mitch, in battle. Yep. If you could put uh, what's the other one? Uh, synthesis or something? Oh yeah, good old synthesis. Or Mega Drain, just anything like that that gives you health back. Just only those kind of moves. <laughs> My God, too much, man. That'd be ridiculous. Hey, level fifty-nine. All right, Chief Fleff. He's getting there. Yeah, Chiefy. Slowly but surely, Mitch. Scyther dominates the desert Pokemon. Scyther, what a boss. Easiest training ever. Scyther had a dream! Yes, he did, buddy. Come on! Boom! Not XP, though. And I got XP share sitting on Sandy, so they're both getting constant XP. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that's a Lapras army. Maybe I'll find a shiny Lapras if I just believe. Dude, if you did, that would actually look cool. I, I bet it would be a really cool looking Pokemon, at least. I bet you it's like a different tint of blue. Guarantee it's something stupid. What is that? Drill? Yeah? Um, I have no idea what I just found. But... You might want to... Oh, never mind. That just looks really weird from above. Okay, never mind. Don't bother. For a second, I thought I found some weird structure. Because the sand from up high looked white. It didn't look like, you know, the sand color. It didn't look faded. It looked like bleach white. So I just saw this bleach white stuff under the water in the middle of the ocean. I was just dumbfounded. I was like, what is that? But it's nothing. So it was a pterodactyl. I think it was a pterodactyl, yeah. Wow, jeez. How does that even happen in the real world? It's insane, man. Absolutely ludicrous. I don't I don't actually know. Oh, a chinchua. Coughing. Alright, uh Lapras. I'm not fighting you. Go away. Good old Lapras. Just, just, I hate ocean battles with a passion. They're just not fun. Hey oh I found a water trainer named Steven, level 34, War Turtle, one shotty with Thunderbolt. Magic Carp level 34, one shotty with Thunderbolt. Wow, he's gone. See you later, Steven. Bye. <laughs> Provoked. Next up. Alright, oh, I'll do one ocean battle because he's level 46 tentacruel, so it should be good XP. Absolutely crushed him. Venomoth? Sure, no problem, level 40 Venomoth. Thunder. Oh sorry, one shotty, you're gone. <laughs> Anyone else? Line him up. Sign up, sign up here, sign ups. Level 30 Grimer? Sure, why not? Trying to hide away in that ditch. You can't hide. Don't be shy. Dead. You're gone. One shot. Next. 
Oh, so many beautiful magic cards. Oh, thank God, Mitch. There are three more Venomoths for me oh, to just Oh, I thought you demolish. were going to say my microwave went off. Oh, that too. Thunder. All right, he's gone. One shot. Next up. Oh, Venomoth. Thank you for stepping up the plate. Thunder. Wait, Mitch. Oh, he survived through one. <laughs> Watch and, out. He means business. And he put the chief to sleep. He's decided... There we go. He choose confusion. I was going to say, he's decided not to do damage to him while he's sleeping, but... Uh, okay, I roll with that. Dead. Revoked. Poker, Next up. Oh, there is a fourth one, Mitch. Oh, thank God. I was so worried there, but now there's no need to worry, buddy. Got another Venomoth to crush. Dude, you're just the exterminator. Demolished. Next. Venomoth. Mitch, guess what attack I'm about to use. Give me a hint. Uh, Thunderbolt? No, it rhymes with thunder, but it's not fun. Ah, Thunderbolt. That's banana. You're wrong. You have an attack called banana? Can you share that? Mm, I'll think about it. I'll consider it. I'll consider a writing technique in my next book. Thanks. Right, stand still, slow poke. Signal beam time. Ah, revoked. Next. Parasect, level 44. Signal beam and... There we go. Wait, is that an indoor woodpecker? Oh, he's gone. Wow, that's a, such a surprise right there. Boom. <laughs> Why did an indoor woodpecker show up for that, though? I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just crushing everything in sight. You're just on fire. They're all trying to stop me. They can't, though. Better men have tried. They failed. Here we go. Boom. Grimer's done. Oh, my God. This is ludicrous. I, finally, I'm about to meet my match of this wheezing. I guarantee it. Because, yeah, Signal Beam's not very effective. It's the only attack left. Hey, cool. Sandy's fifth, level 50. And Scyther just got a really sweet ability at level 53. What's that? Air Slash. Ooh. Sounds very good. type. That is a good attack, actually. I know that one. Oh, my God. You're going to laugh. He's about to... He actually just crushed the we Oh, he didn't. Okay, that was that was really close. I was by the left so hard. Like, there's no way he's just crushing this hard, Chief Left. That's why I have the Chief in my party, man. He he delivers. Chief delivers. Milkman always delivers. Chief always delivers. That's right. Well, anyway, Mitch, I'm all good after crushing it as hard as I just did right there with Chief on that rampage. Got to level 60. That's I'm just good. obscene. Hey, Anita Rand Mail. Well, thanks for challenging my level 70 Charizard. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I'm all good if you are, buddy. Yeah, I think this is a good point for me to wrap this up because I didn't get what I wanted this episode, so I'm still kind of sad and sulking. But I'm going to find something cool next episode. I can assure you of that because that's what I do. I find cool stuff while Jerome levels Pokemon. Well, I am a chief. Yep. So we'll see you dudes all later. Slap that like button on your forehead. Show a little bit of love. Support if you can, if you still like the series. And uh, we'll see you all later. Take care. Bye.